Kwazuai Linjani. Greetings to you all. My name is Dumi Sender. I'm a poet, author, and community leader with experience of working with Zimbabwean communities as well as international Zimbabweans are, are happy people. We like to sing, dance, eat. This is what makes a great community. But also we cannot ignore the problems that have been blighting our, our country and our societies more generally. To find resolution to any issue, it is important to understand the root causes of the issue. And it is this which I think can help us move towards solutions. In this regard, I would like us to reflect on the role of the individual in society. There's a tendency to view politics as something which is completely separate to, to the work of the civic society. And I think this is a flawed way of looking um, at community building uh, because you cannot ignore the role of the state and the role of government. It is important to, to be aware of the role of, this, of the individual in holding the state and, and government accountable. So charities can do all the great work that they do. Activists can do all the great work that they do. But if we don't work together to hold our governments accountable, then you know it's a bit like filling a bucket with water, but the bucket is walls at the bottom. Uh, no matter how much water you pour in, it's not going to fill up. I've seen firsthand how successful Zimbabweans have been as individuals. You know, we have Zimbabweans who are running international organizations. We have Zimbabweans who are, who've amassed a lot of wealth individually, uh, and some who've excelled in their profession. But however, this is not quite translated to collective success. While individual success is good and important, um, it's, it cannot be sustained without a collective success. So if you live in a, in a poor community, your wealth alone really is meaningless if, if the community is not uplifted as well. But in a sense, I think we, we need to kind of redefine our understanding of what is to be rich. You know, Let's find ways of enriching ourselves which uplift uh, our fellow citizens, which uplift um, those who are poor in our communities, which uplift young people in particular. And I think one way of doing this is through education. Education not merely for careerism, but education as a way of being enlightened to understand how society runs. Uh, we have to educate our children. When we do that, we, we help them to understand the role of politics in society, uh, the role of good leadership in society, but also the role, more importantly, of the individual to hold leaders accountable. I think. Uh, we'll be beginning to find ways to uh, move towards a Zimbabwe that you and I envisage and imagine. Of course, I would not live without doing a poem for you. I'm going to do a poem for you which I wrote called Zimbabweans Are Singing Again. It's a poem I wrote to paint a picture of what I imagined Zimbabwe could be like if we work together. Zimbabweans are singing again. The dust settled. The unsettled fettled. Kettle on the boil. Ready for boys heading home the kettle. Embattled nettle biting warriors. Nomadic coming home homecomers. Women in sari ululating. Men returning from dairy. Cold fending children in a chari. And the drifter with a goatee smoking chalice. Stroking his beard and neighbors would think he's weird. The ones who never feared, who cheered. Water, motoring tummies of nannies, sweating for very little. And little boys and girls at the kins, lining for Stuart Little. And the ones pining, keen to make a lot. The grotto lot, the go to a lot of trouble to win the lotto lot. Yellow motto, the bubble, the ones living inside it and troubled. Mashona, Debele, Manika, the Lord for whom it is cool to say, Ayo, Shakadzanya Baba, the older lot. To them, cool is cold. Nanga, my profita. Payroll people and people on the payroll. Inflatable things on rapturous things. And the trouble is suing if they rapture. Matowe, Matamba, Makwakwa, Makwashava, Makungurush, Makepekepe 1, Danamos 2, Amatula Nyama, Hemagumen. Iboso.
de tempo pai baba dembo tururu tururu zimbabweans are singing again zimbabweans are singing again thank you ladies and gentlemen remember if we work together zimbabweans can indeed sing again thank you very much